Hey guys, my name is Jessie Mew, and welcome back to Cat Tales. In the last episode, we found a wonderful treasure right on the beach. We stumbled into two of the very rare conch shells, so one to give to the forest guardian and one for Penny to stash away in her little collection of mews. All of these mews are actually going toward a shiny trinket for Scout, now that he has reached his red heart relationship status with Penny, that means he's ready to accept our gift of a shiny trinket as soon as we can buy it from Ember. So pretty soon, I'm hoping that we'll be able to uh, get the rest of the Mews that we need. But today, as you can see, all of our cats are missing from the forest colony because they're already enjoying their day at the sacred temple where the winter festival is about to take place. Festivals happen on the very last day of every single season, and the Winter Festival is the only one so far that we haven't experienced. So I'm looking forward to seeing what uh, little trinkets we can buy, of course, and what fun games we'll be able to play too. I'm also quite curious to see who might be running this new festival. Last time in the Fall Festival, I believe it was, when we were a little bit too early to uh, join in on the fun, Alyssa let us know that she was still setting things up, so if we sneak over here, I'm hoping that we'll get to a glimpse who might be putting together the Winter Festival. But first, we should probably try to snag up this little mouse. There we go. Not only for the extra experience points, but also so we can sell that off in the future. Oh, it's just Coco this time. Okay. Here for the festival? If so, you'll have to be patient while we get things ready. Why don't you come back at 11 a.m.? Well, don't worry, Coco. We're not going to go very far, especially because it's uh, almost 11 a.m. already. In fact, we'll just do a little bit of extra hunting over here. On the first day of spring, I'm hoping that we can just pick an area right inside the forest itself to do all of our hunting and hopefully snag up enough of prey to finally buy that shiny trinket. Hopefully uh, the toads are going to be worth quite a bit of news too. I'm actually hoping that we can do some bird hunting because that was really what got us most of our muse last time. But it's almost time for the festival now and Penny is super, super excited. So let's go see what we can do at the winter festival. Oh my gosh, look at those lights. Oh, that is so beautiful. Oh my goodness, I hope we can get lights just like this to hang all around our den. The only thing is, I have received a little bit of intel from you guys that there might be a special Forest Guardian item inside Coco's shop today. So we'll go investigate that later, and we might need to uh, save up our tokens for that instead of all of the decorations like usual, and even the pets too, which will be a little bit sad, but we can always buy them again next year. I think it's neat that all the colonies come together at the end of the year and welcome the next one. Yeah, I do too, so this is almost just like uh, the summer festival, I guess? That was when all of the colonies came together in peace because there's not too much to fight about in the summer. But I guess this is to uh, celebrate the coming of spring when all of the food will return to the uh, forest again. Fair warning, if you join in on the festival games, I won't go easy on you. Oh my gosh, Pebble looks so excited for the games. I wonder what sort of games we're going to be playing today. Last time he was actually not too confident about his uh, pumpkin carving skills. Use this special time to reflect back on your year and set goals for the next one. Oh, Penny has a lot of goals to consider as soon as the springtime starts. Oh, it looks like a Missy is talking with Luna over here. Let's see if we can listen in. At least it's starting to warm up. I don't care about the new year, I just want to stop shivering. Oh, I thought Missy enjoyed the snow because uh, apparently it reminds her of herself. But I guess the cold's a little bit too much for her. This festival is cool, I guess. Was that a little bit of a pun, Luna? It's a very cool festival thanks to all of this ice and snow. Maybe next year I'll find a new region to explore. I've had my eyes on the ocean for a while now. Do you think there's a distant land out there somewhere? Actually, Savannah, I do think that there might be something very special hidden beyond the waves. You guys have let me know that we'll want to increase Penny's swimming skill just to see what lies on the other side. A new year is here. Are you ready for it? Yeah, I think uh, Penny is looking forward to things warming up, all of the prey returning to the land, though Jack seems a little bit worried, so maybe we'll have to offer him some of our own gifts. The mountain domain grew stronger this year. Perchance next year it shall become even greater. Oh, I'm sure Leo would be very, very happy to hear the confidence that Arthur has. Robin is a little bit far away from all of the celebrations this time. There's so many fun things to do today. One day simply isn't enough time to celebrate the new year. Alright, so she's still having fun. Maybe she's just uh, taking in the sights. 
because this place is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I love all of these rainbow lights. Let's sneak up this side to talk to Mossy, who seems to be having a little conversation with the very, very stern mountain leader. Have you seen all the small seed things poking through the snow? It makes me so happy. Oh, Mossy's excited for the springtime too, so she can see all of her new plants. At least these festivals keep morale high within the cats of the mountain domain. Leo never really seems to enjoy any of the festivals that happen here because he is very, very stern, very driven and devoted to his role, but at least he's letting all of the mountain cats have fun today. Soon the cold shall end. We gather to celebrate the return of the warmth. Excellent. That's always good to hear from Oracle because something tells me she can see a little bit of the future. It's been a year of prosperity for the forest colony, here's to another. A Sarge is actually enjoying himself this time, it seems. Or at least he's happy to know that uh, we've done so many good things for the forest colony. Did you need something from me? I'm just here to have fun and enjoy the festival. All right, Nil. You know, I would absolutely love to get to know Nil a little bit better. We learned last time that he's actually uh, really into birds as well, just like Penny is. So maybe we can bond over our shared love of uh, the feathered creatures of the forest. Now, Lyris, we haven't gotten the chance to talk to him in so long because he always gets up so late in the day and Penny is never around. Are you joyful for a new year? Lyris cannot contain the excitement. Oh, he must love all of these colors too. We already know that he really likes the colorful butterflies of the summer. Any good stories from this year you can share? Oh, Alyssa must be learning all of the Forest Colony stories from Scout and Doc then. Maybe Scout is even telling her about our new potential future together. What's been your proudest accomplishment this year? Well, honestly, probably getting to know Scout so much better because we're well on our way to finally starting our own family inside the Forest Colony. I'm here to see if there's any new sicknesses that have been spreading in the other colonies. That way we can prepare. Oh, so not only trying to uh, find new remedies from the other colonies, but also making sure we know about the uh, sicknesses that are spreading throughout the entire forest, which is a very, very good thing to keep tucked in the back of your mind, Doc, and I'm glad to know that you're looking out for us. Can you believe it's been a year since our last winter festival? Time flies when you're having fun. Delta, we actually have not experienced this yet, so don't give anything away, okay? And we have Crampy up here who we finally got the chance to meet yesterday inside the Mystic Colony. I can melt snow with my mind. Watch and learn. You'll have to give it a few days to take effect. It's not an exact science, I'm afraid. I absolutely adore Crampy. He might be one of my favorite cats in the entire forest at this point. One more year goes by. I hope it was a good one for everybody. Oh, Slip is super cute too. And I think that might actually be uh, all of the cats that we've spoken to so far. It looks like nobody else is uh, lingering on the outskirts of the gathering, so I think everybody has been greeted. I always like to do a quick sweep though, just in case, because I would hate to leave out a cat just because we happen to miss them standing on the corners. But so far, it looks like everybody has been spoken to, so let's go up to Coco and let's see what he is carrying inside his shop today. Oh, and the other thing I want to do is grab this red rose as well. Like I said before, we've already given our red rose to Scout, so we don't need it for that, but I would like to potentially place it down as a little decoration once we do have the uh, trinket in our hands. Welcome to the Winter Festival. Would you like to play games to earn tokens or spend your tokens at the shop? Well, first and foremost, I would like to see what you actually have inside your shop. Oh my goodness, the cardinals. Oh, I know that we need this because those are so tricky for us to find. And that is one of the things that the forest guardian wants. But how on earth are we going to give up the winter lights decor? A handful of colorful lights from the winter festival to decorate the inside and outside of your den. Oh my goodness, I don't know how we're going to pass that up. And the butterfly as well. It's even a purple butterfly too. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. What do you think Penny would uh, name this butterfly if she happened to take it home as a pet? We're trying to keep with the gem related names, just like Aqua and Smokey. So even though we might not buy it today, do let me know if you have any ideas for the future. We have a bubble wand too. Use this playful item to blow some fun soap bubbles. Oh, if we had kittens in the den, then I would definitely buy this because I bet they would love to chase after those things. 
happy. I mean, I guess our first order of business is going to have to be the Cardinal, so we can bring it to the Forest Guardian, but uh, it's going to pain me to leave behind the Winter Lights and that Butterfly too. So we'll see how many tokens we can get today as we play the brand new game in the Winter Festival. So what do we get to play today, Coco? In the winter, we have snowball fights. Well, that already sounds like fun, so let's join in on the very first snowball fight of the season. Great, follow me to the festival arena. Oh, are we playing with Alyssa? It looks like we might actually be on the same team. Welcome to round one of the winter snowball fights. Your teammate for this event will be Alyssa. I suppose we can make this work. Oh, that's so cool. So we actually get to play with a different cat. And yeah, it looks like our enemy team is Robin and Elyris. Oh, it's a little bit sad that we're fighting against Lyris since we're such good friends with him, but I guess it's all just a healthy competition. We're all here to have fun. And Robin seems to agree. Remember that the most important thing is to have fun. You are no match for Lyris' graceful skills. Oh, I bet he's actually pretty good at making snowballs. Something tells me he has a little bit more skill up his sleeve than we know. The objective of the snowball fight is to take down your opponents before they take you down. Three hits and you're out. Alright, so that's probably what these hearts are. You can throw a snowball with space. Everybody ready? Oh jeez. Let's see how we do on our very first snowball fight of the season. Oh my goodness, Robin! She's like whipping those snowballs at us. And it looks like we can actually get rid of their snowballs too if we uh, throw one right at them at the same time. So far we haven't managed to hit any of them though and oh my goodness, Robin actually hit us. So we're down one heart so far. Oh, there we go. We got rid of Robin that time so it's just down to Lyris. All right, let's see if we can uh, gang up on Lyris, Alyssa. I always figured these two probably had uh, something in common thanks to their very, very mystical fur colors. But let's see, he's very quick. I mean, he wasn't kidding about graceful skills. I think we almost have him though. Oh, he just barely blocked some of those uh, little snowballs. Unless they hit him, it's kind of hard to tell. I wish there was a way for us to see his health, but there we go. And that's the end. Let's see how everybody did and hand out the prizes. Well, it looks like Penny may have won with Alyssa. Penny, you've won two festival tokens. Thanks for playing. All right, so I guess maybe if we uh, didn't get hit at all, he probably would have given us three festival tokens. So that means we are really, really going to have to focus on the next ones because we have to get enough for that cardinal. I guess we'll have to pay another visit to Alyssa pretty soon though to thank her for all of her help. We'll bring her some more of those shells next time since uh, she really seemed to enjoy those. But who are we playing with this time? Oh, Slip. Well, Slip is a little bit of an older cat. So hopefully that means lots of experience and he uh, won't get too cramped up while he's running around. It's nice to be paired with such a capable young cat like yourself. We can do this. All right, Slip, I believe in you. Huzzah, an easy challenge. Thy defeat is nigh. Oh, Arthur is playing with Missy. Um, why are you even trying to win? Don't you know I'm the best at this game? Well, Missy, I mean, we did pretty good last time, but she blends in so well with the snow. We'll have to really keep our eyes on her, Slip. So let's start round two. I think we'll focus on Arthur first since he's right up here and we might be able to uh, get a few good shots on him before he slips away. I think we hit somebody there, but it's so hard to tell because uh, there's no markers to show how much health they still have. Oh, looks like Slip actually took out Missy that time. Excellent. So we're just down to Arthur. And unfortunately, he did hit Penny, so she's not going to get the full three tokens. But we have one more shot to try to uh, get enough for the Cardinal. Yeah, it looks like we definitely hit him there. They kind of like explode right in front of them when you actually manage to take out one of their health points. And that's the end. Let's see how everybody did. Penny, you've won two festival tokens. All right, guys, this is our last chance. If we don't get three festival tokens this time, then that means the Cardinal is going to be just out of our reach. But I guess that wouldn't be such a bad thing because then Penny could possibly buy the decor instead. Hmm, I wonder if this was her plan all along. But let's see who's going to be joining us on the very last round of the snowball fight. Oh, Lyris is going to play. And it looks like we're playing against Slip and Arthur. So I wonder if these are like the only cats who want to participate in the snowball fights this year. Our adversary shall fall like the leaves from the autumn trees. Oh, Lyris must be very happy to have finally be playing with Penny Cat. Go easy on an old cat, won't you? 
Huzzah, an easy challenge. Hey, we defeated you last time, Arthur, so don't get uh, too confident, okay? And this time we're going to do even better. So just like last time, I'm going to focus on the cat right up on top, which just so happens to be Slip. But he's already scooting right around us, it seems. All right, we got a few good hits on him that time. Let's see if we can get him now. Yeah, he's very, very slow. Much slower than uh, Arthur. And one more hit ought to be enough to uh, knock him out of the competition. There we go. Now we're just down to Arthur. Come on, Lyris, we can do this. Just a few more good hits and we have to block those snowballs before they hit us. Oh no, Penny. Oh, that one just barely hit you. I thought it was going to be fine, but it seemed like our snowballs were just a little bit off. Oh, he got me that time too. Oh no, Arthur, don't take me out. Maybe we should actually leave this to Lyris. If he could throw a couple of snowballs his way, then uh, maybe Lyris can get rid of him. Oh, thank you so much for saving the day, but that means that we're just too short for the Cardinal. Literally one token short. But you know, I think that might have been Penny's plan all along because now that means that she can go into uh, Coco's shop and see what else there is to buy. The winter lights for six tokens, the pet butterfly for five. Oh no, which one should we go with? I feel like this has been the year of pets for Penny. So far, she's managed to make two brand new friends inside all of these festivals. So, you know, I think we're going to go and uh, make one more right at the end of the year with this pet butterfly. So five festival tokens for the adorable purple butterfly. And then I guess we could spend uh, one extra token on the bubble wand too. Since we are considering starting our own little family very soon, I would love to use this as soon as we have kins. And that leaves three festival tokens for us to save up for uh, something in the future. But let's see if we have enough room to uh, hopefully pop up another one of the pets on Penny's accessories list. How many can we actually have at once? Oh my goodness. We have three little critters of the forest following Penny Cat around now. That is absolutely adorable. The animal parade is almost complete. Having a little butterfly friend would be super helpful for the future seasons because maybe she can help us find all of the brand new flowers that are just about to bloom. But I think Penny is ready to call it a day now. We'll have her return to her den and uh, curl up with all of her brand new little friends. Hopefully heal off some of those very, very old wounds because tomorrow begins one of her toughest quests. Not only is she going to have to find enough Muse to finally buy that shiny trinket, but we also need to go back and uh, visit those bats again as soon as she's strong enough to do so. But for now, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, guys!